So this is our first view of Segura Rock. And, uh, we just stopped by the roadside and you can probably see this, <laughs> this vehicle engine running away. And uh, see some white egrets there and a tree. Yeah, you climb up to the top of it. We are at Sigaria. You can see that it's misty on the top. It was very heavy rain last night. It's, uh, it's fed up today. So it take about an hour to get to the top. It's quite steep. You don't want that. So here we are very close to the rock, you can see it there. There you can see the way in. And about halfway up here. And in the distance, the big white Buddha. Now we're queuing to go up this little spiral staircase here. These are the paintings inside the cave, at the top of the spiral staircase. They're all very well endowed, <laughs> these women. The platform we're on is just attached to the rock for the, the sheer drop underneath it. It's a bit unnerving when you look down these traps. But this is the platform we've just been on. You can see how it's held to the rock by these supports here. You can see the way we go along there underneath. There you can see the platform which I've just been on with the support, a bit nerve-wracking. Here you can get a view from the halfway up. The way in. It's got this very atmospheric look about it with the mist. Giant foot. And the Lion staircase. You can see going up, up, up there. Very steep to the top. You can see the, the entrance. Well, this is the lion staircase. Making its way up. What? It's been a bit of a head for heights. This is the top of Sigaria rock. Uh, very thin cloud everywhere after all the rain of yesterday. It's a fair old trek up here, it takes 45 minutes. In, uh, a big long line of people, but we've made it. And uh, if it had been very, very hot, it would have been really, really difficult if you are not fit to get up here. Yesterday, absolutely hammered down with the rain all day, but um, today, if it had been bright sunshine, it would have been a lot worse. There you can see the reservoir and water storage at the top. It was built as a fortress. Obviously, they need a source of water. It's a hotel swimming pool. Uh, there is the entrance from the top. It leads. See, the summit is not flat like the postcards 
give an impression. There's the floor. Water storage. You come around and it's... Uh, I think it must be 50, 100 feet before you get to the top. When you look at it from the aerial shots, it looks as if it, uh, it's quite flat. <laughs> well, it's a beautiful day for being here. Slightly breezy, slightly overcast. It's still very warm, but uh, it's not raining and it's not bright sunshine. The sun just keeps breaking through occasionally and it is very hot. Look at that countryside. That jungle everywhere. Budding crowd, there's another little pool here for saving water. And a very interesting gadget on the other side. A cable ride, obviously for getting things up here very, very quickly. Obviously some steps down as well. You fancy it. Uh, like a metal, little metal staircase without any banisters. Looking down from the rock, you've got this large pond or small lake, whichever you prefer. And, uh, more agricultural, you can see the rice fields over there, bright green. It's a big, big rice growing region, lots of water. This is the other side of the pool. And there's a little sort of summit pyramid, if you like. It's very quiet, considering how many people are tripsing up and down that staircase. And you can get away from the top is large enough for you to be able to get away and find a little quiet place and have a look at it. It's nice. <coughs> it's nice just standing here in the breeze. Now the sun is out so with the humidity and the temp high temperature. I think it must be about 30 degrees. It, uh, you can see there, it's very, very quiet. Not many people at all. And this little stone, it's the highest point. Everybody stands when they get their photograph taken. It's now just after 12 o'clock, and you can see there at the entrance, there are very, very few people making their way up here. coming down here, shaking a little panic. His wife talking him down all the way. Yeah, it's pretty brave of him if he suffers from fear of heights, which he obviously did. This is what they call the audience hall top of a great big boulder. And you can see on this boulder there have been structures on most of these boulders and higher up they've got notches in the rock for climbing up the rock which must have been a nerve, a real nerve-wracking business. <laughs> Lots of great big overhangs The little cracks on these rock faces are swift nest. This cave here is known as the Cobra Hood Cave because of the shape of the rock above it. Looks like a, the hood of a cobra when it's uh, alarmed and it opens its hood up to frighten you. Clever little trick here, I suppose it happens everywhere. Thank you. These uh, lads put a box in front of you and uh, say that you cannot open it. Try to open it, it's a secret. Uh, and of course, as soon as you get hold of the box, they let go of it and they won't take it back until you pay for it. Uh, I suppose it works worldwide, but uh, it's everywhere here and it's very, very clever. And this is a culture.